You thought I was killing you? That nigga. The mastermind behind, Munch, a song that took over the internet lately was this young new rapper who has been in the industry for hardly a year now. She came into the rap world literally for less than a year now but her songs has been streamed for more than 8 million times only on Spotify. Ice Spice appearance was very sudden but she has remarkably established her career and proved her passion for music. This young rapper who has been in the industry for a very short time, now competes with the biggest musical geniuses of the world. But when you closely look at her history in music, she has no past records, in fact she stormed the industry after releasing only 5 tracks. Her rise to fame has however been a mystery for most of the musical fanatics. This has made many people doubt her talent by insinuating that her music is just trash and she rose to fame from her close connections with Drake and other famous artists. This raises a lot of questions to you and myself. Is Ice Spice really talented or she is just a clout trying to become famous by clinging on to the wings of artists who have already made it to the top? This is the story of Ice Spice. Isis Gatson, professionally known as Ice Spice was born in the Bronx, New York on January 2000 to African-American father and a Dominican mother. She was oldest of her five siblings. Her parents divorced when Ice Spice was only two years old. And because her parents were frequently busy, Ice Spice grew up in the hands of her grandparents and cousins. She started school in New York and joined high school in Yonkers. When she was only seven years Ice Spice realized her passion for music inspired by biggest rappers like Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Pope Smoke and Lil Kim. From there she started writing poetry and freestyle raps. She also got her inspiration from her father who was an underground rapper in New York. Well, everything seems to be happening so fast for you, but I want to know how long have you actually been rapping for? Um, so I've been rapping like my whole life, like making little raps and stuff like that. My um father was an underground rapper, very local in New York and um, he just inspired me for me so like ever since then I was just always making little raps and poems and stuff but I didn't make my first um, like official song in a studio until 2021. Fast forward to 2021, Ice Spice's talent started booming. Her career started when she met a producer by the name Riot USA while attending New York State University from which she eventually ended up dropping out after trying numerous career paths. In fact Ice Spice wanted to be an actress at first, but she finally found her true passion in music. Her first debut song was released in March 2021 after a video of Ice Spice doing a bus challenge went viral on Twitter. From there her second song, Name of Love gained a lot of traction on SoundCloud and in turn she built massive followers on Instagram. The song she released on August 2022 however played a pivotal role in her fame. Yes you guessed it, Munch, or Feeling You was a real getaway to her real success. She used her TikTok platform to popularize the song and with no doubt it took off like a wildfire on the internet. It finally received a mind-blowing recognition from people and biggest stars like Drake, who even ended up playing the song on his radio station. The song was finally listed under Hot 100. This young 23-year-old rapper finally was at the top and unstoppable. She got recognized by many stars and he even ended up flying to Canada with Drake. Ice Spice's sudden rise to fame did not just thrive of course without hate. People started hating on her for becoming instant famous claiming she only became famous because of her collaborations with big rappers like Drake. Some people even claim that her music is just trash. No matter how much people hate on her, Ice Spice doesn't stop. She continues to make music. She responds to people's hate by saying, she doesn't really care because she knows how she got there. With all this massive fame Ice Spice remains very humble and grateful for her success. How does all of this attention feel right now in your first kind of big moment in the game um i'm just like so grateful you know like shout out new york times that was crazy i didn't expect that um and it's just like a blessing really like i'm just excited i'm here like you feel me i'm just working a very large contention of people however love ice spice and her style of rap many people even call her the modern day princess diana this huge enthusiastic crowd is a proof how much people love ice spice she received this overwhelming crowd in Canada alone.
um, what was your experience like and did you expect the crowd response that you got? Um, so in Toronto, I did not expect that response. It was crazy. They showed me so much love. Like, as soon as I got on that stage, everybody's cameras was up. They were screaming. They were chanting the lyrics for me. Crowd was huge. Probably the biggest crowd I ever performed in front of. When Jake DM'd me, I did not really expect that, but I had just landed in LA for my Genius open mic for Munch, and he was actually like, yo, Munch is hard, and you're on the radar freestyle is hard. And I was like, damn, that's crazy, because I'm really in LA about to shoot the open mic. Like, linking up with him was so cool. Like, he's mad, nice, and respectful. Um, we went to OVO Fest. It was exciting, because it was like his first time performing in Toronto, I think, in like a couple years. So it was just a movie, like everybody was excited, the energy was high, Nikki performed, it was lit, Wayne did his thing, that shit was crazy.